I started doing electrical and things are getting kind of crazy in here. You can kind of see now, I just got all the drops unzip tied and there is just wires everywhere. <laughs> Every little crack to get a wire jammed into. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is pull all the wire loom off. So I'm going to go through. I'm going to go through and pull all this stuff off and kind of trace where everything is going. Mainly because if we're not going to be reusing too much of this panel, I don't actually have any wiring diagrams to go off of. So. I can kind of trace and like diagnose roughly where I think things are, but again, none of the fuses or relays are actually labeled. So I'm gonna go through, pull the wire loom off and kind of trace back what I need and then start from all the tails because there's a bunch of extra wires just sitting, that were sitting up in the harness that were being used. So I'm gonna go through, kind of eliminate everything that wasn't being used and then start at the panel and kind of work my way out and just start deleting wires as I go. And ultimately we're probably not gonna use most of that panel. Uh, I might just move some of the circuit boards down and build a new box. Um, there's just so much wiring in here that just, it's not necessary. We're gonna keep all the lights, um, keep the exhaust fan in the back, kind of up there. And we'll reuse what we can, reuse all the switches and just build a whole new wiring harness from all this scrap. So another good reason to get an ambulance, a bunch of free wire. I'm not going to show you hours of time-lapse footage of me pulling wire loom off of wires. In the end, this took quite a few days of just tedious little cuts and chasing back one wire at a time. Ultimately though, without working with a wiring diagram, this is the only way I was able to do it and it worked out in the end. So on to the next part. There's a lot of, there's a lot of wires in here. <laughs> One eternity later. All right, so just got home from work. Gonna finish tackling the electrical in here. You can see I kind of got all the lighting circuits separated out. But the one thing last night that I found, one of the big things I was trying to do was, where does all that go? So there's like eight big connectors in there and there's only four up here. So I couldn't really figure out where they're going just by looking at the walls. I figured one goes down there, but where did the rest of them go? So today, when I got home, I started tackling it. And this is what I found behind a hidden wall. So all the lighting circuit relays and then all the rest of the wiring coming down to the inverter, going under the truck, and going into that cabinet. So basically, just gonna finish ripping all this out today. Three days later. Been a few days, got a lot of work done in here. So the main stuff, all the lights now are kind of refed here, I'll give a better view. You can see everything's ripped down, panels ripped down, I uh, got a bunch of like the consoles out. All those side panels are basically disconnected now. So the lights are basically just running off of two wires of the panel and not actually off of the old system. And the only wires I have now are the door locks. So these, these all go to each and all door lock, compartment locks, and then here, a little bit more wires because the actual door opening and closing switches are there. But other than the refed lights and these four cables, everything is torn out. So these are two of the eight connectors out of here. And these are what fed all the lights, all the like reverse lights, stop lights. And it looks a little daunting, but I have a system works pretty well. So tape color system, <laughs> simple. 
Yellow means have to refit, like refeed them, put them back in. So this would be like brake lights, reverse light, turn signals, black on my ground wires. They don't really matter where they go later as long as they all go to a ground wire. Orange. So this would be for anything that I want to redo. So like if you go use this one, this orange is for the exhaust fan. Some of them are actually labeled. Some just say extra. So this one is fed exhaust fan. So it's labeled orange because we're gonna refeed the exhaust fan that used to go in the back cart compartment uh, for just the main area. We're gonna put it here, vent it out this side, and that's gonna be our new bathroom exhaust fan. So yeah, all the oranges are just circuits I wanna reuse for um, new stuff. Um, what other colors do you got? Reds. Reds were all stuff that I found up inside as extras and basically stuff that wasn't used. It was just kind of tailed off and just capped up in the ceiling or stuff that just wasn't labeled at all. It just went to something like a plug in the wall, wasn't gonna use it. So red basically getting deleted. So that's kind of the whole thing. So that's just two of the eight. All right, so if we come down here, these are two more connectors. This went to the front console. So that's all these controls, main pass, main power controls. There is a whale and strobe control on there for the front strobes. Um, yeah, so that's where the other two connectors go. Then if we come over here, one of these connectors was what fed the main control panel, um, AC control, the old O2 control, um, the video in cabinet controls. Most of this is gonna get deleted. I'm gonna save all the switches, um, but this is just not needed anymore. So if we keep going, we got another plug here, and this is just all the body control stuff. So this is gonna be all the feeds coming from the factory computer for like turn signals, brake lights, yeah, ignition on and off, key on and off. That's coming kind of down, up, and around to that plug. So that plug's gonna eventually be in that compartment with the other panel. These two cables were for this side, and then those two cables here fed this side of the truck. So tons of extra wires there. So that takes care of four. This cable here, one plug. This is all the front strobes and front emergency lights on the grill and on the front fenders. And then we got just an, an open wire chase here. This is more or less for all the positive and negative coming out of the, the main, hard to see, all the main contactors there, some 200 amp and a 100 amp uh, solid state contactor. That's just, when you turn the key on, the contactor turns on and gives you power to all these. So this fed a bunch of random stuff. And that pretty much concludes that panel. All right, so that's gonna be kind of the update for now, because from here, everything's getting ripped out now. So all this is just gonna get ripped out, put in a box for now. The panel's gonna get ripped out. I'm gonna go through the panel, change the relay and fusing setups, and then everything down in that hole is where all the expensive Victron stuff is gonna be going. And as well as once I redo that panel, that's gonna be down in the hole also. And then have to bring all these feeds back up through the chase and refeed everything. Cause right now I got everything cut out so we can't actually drive the van. So hopefully in the next video, yeah. It'll be a little less daunting when, when most of this stuff is kind of trimmed down and uh, we're only gonna use what we need to use. So thanks for watching everybody. This is gonna be the end I think for this electrical update. Next one, maybe we'll work on the bed. They might start cutting these out, so stay tuned.